Well, they carry precious cargo to and from schools every day. Keeping children safe on school buses became front and center for the state legislature in 2017 after this deadly accident on the South Loop left two students dead. Seat belts are now required on all new school buses, but are local school districts really following this new law? Tonight, Channel 2 morning anchor Tania Wright is spot checking major districts, revealing how many buses are equipped with three point safety belts. A 14 ton school bus crashes head on into two parked cars. Oh my goodness, look at that bus. Inside, crash test dummies representing students are hurled into the air. <gasps> those children. Now this was a controlled accident captured by an engineering company, but the results are frighteningly real, showing just how dangerous a school bus accident can be when students aren't wearing seatbelts. Watching that video just let me realize the severity of safety and how important it is. Can cause death. It was here where two HISD students died after their bus went off this freeway. Now, although tragic, this accident also brought about change. It's about saving lives, and it's our children's lives, and to me, there's nothing more important. In 2017, then-Texas Senator Sylvia Garcia authorized Senate Bill 693 requiring all new school buses purchased after 2018 to have three-point safety belts. As a new school year began, we reached out to districts across the Houston area to see how many of their buses are equipped with these required safety belts. In Ailey, out of 340 buses, 27 of them have three-point safety belts. Back in 2017, the district had no buses with those three-point safety belts. In Fort Bend, 49 of the district's 503 buses are equipped, all of them special needs buses. In Humble ISD, just 10 of the district's 214 standard buses have the belts. And in Sci Fair, 108 of the 1,041 buses have those three point belts. Now I'm very hopeful that we'll see a day where all school buses uh, will, will have uh, three point seat belts. In Katy, 124 of its 688 buses have three point safety belts. HISD has the most school buses at 1,128. Of those, 197 have belts. For Sheila, there is comfort knowing her grandson's school bus has seat belts. That's important to me because it's his safety. The same thing with driving a car. They get in the car, he gets in the car, I'm not moving the car until you put on the seat belt. So it's the same process. Although Texas Senate Bill 693 allows each district to opt out of purchasing school buses with three-point safety belts, if its budget does not permit it, each of the districts in our story have chosen to make sure these new school buses are equipped with them. We have also shared more school bus safety belt numbers on our website, so you can look for that story on the homepage at clicktohouston.com. Tonight, you're right, KPRC, Channel 2 News.